there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. It's time for project number two in my Spooky Cat online class, which is available to you um, free. The All the materials that you need to make 10 projects, five designs, just by using um, the host code on my blog, www.carolbcrafts.com, and making a $60 retail purchase. So let's get started making these adorable little uh, treats. Okay, what we'll need for this project is going to be our two little um, test tubes. These are so adorable. I love those little test tubes. And there'll be three, you get an extra uh, little tab for um, to put on our test tube. And I'm using the black, solid um, black basic black twine that we sell. I think in the catalog they use the black and white, but I, I liked the black better, the solid black. But we won't need that quite yet. We have some stamping to do. And we'll be using our Spooky Cat uh, stamps. We'll be using several of them. We'll need our photopolymer. We'll need our piercing mat because these are photopolymer stamps. And I'm going to put a cover sheet to protect my pad. So I have this here. Um, okay, so I'll line these up. I'm going to go ahead and do all three of them just in case I mess up somewhere along the line. So we're going to go ahead and um, start with our stamping. And First thing we're going to stamp is the little um, three little uh, vials of stuff that's for like our laboratory type stuff. And we're going to use basic black ink for that. And we're just going to put that near the bottom down here. Now we need to put some um, liquid in our little vials. Now the black is going, we're going to use the little like triangle vial. We're going to use black for that. And this is just going to fill in the liquid in there. And then we're going to get out our, um, well, before we do that, we'll go ahead and do the sides. They are, they're using the smaller, there's two like decorative lines. We're going to use the smaller one on each side of the stamp, of each side of the Probably should have used a different color of scratch paper because it's hard to see where the tag stops, where the tag starts, and the scratch paper begins. Okay, that takes care of the sides. That's everything we're going to do in black. Now we're going to get out our pumpkin pie and fill in our other two vials. Do the center one first. And I'm having to stick my head in there, so I hope if there's a, a lapse in the camera, you know why.
it's really hard to line these up. Okay, and then um, the last thing we need is our sentiment. Well, uh, we, we have one more little file. It's the little one, the littlest one. such cute little images. Now we're ready for our sentiment and a sentiment is uh, eat at your own risk. And that just goes right above here. I don't know if I would be brave enough to eat something that said eat at your own risk. This got a little um, messy here, but that's okay because it's just supposed to be bubbly stuff. So it doesn't really matter. I'll choose the two best ones and use those. Okay, we're done with our stamping. Now we're going to put them on our... Um, I see. I think I'll take this one and this one. These two are the best of the, of the three. And you can always turn it over and do it on the back if you want, uh, if you need to do that. Okay, so we're going to take our vial and one of our pieces of basic black, solid black twine. And we're going to decide where we want it, and then we're going to put a glue dot where we want it. So I think I want it about right there. It's about an inch from the top of the plastic. So we're going to get these even. Have our glue dot pointing up and then we're going to just tie like we're going to start tying a shoe. And we're going to have it so that that ends up over the glue dot right there. And that's going to hold it in place so that it doesn't. And then just tie it tight so that it doesn't slide. And then we're going to take, um, tie it again like this. And then this, this side we're going to bring through our little tag. And I forgot to tell you that this tag is from the Everyday Labels punch. It's a new punch um, for our holiday catalog. It's this one right here. And all I did is I punched out in Whisper White a couple of these uh, tags, these Everyday Label tags, and then I used a eighth inch um, hole punch to do the rest to put the hole up at the top. Okay, I wonder, I guess I should tie another knot to keep that in place. Not a knot, but you know, tie it again like this. That will keep that in place. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. Little bit big. I can make it smaller. All right, so now we have, let me bring this around so we can have eat at your own risk. All right, so we can trim our ends. That's a little too big still. Let me make that smaller. And then we'll just take our snips and cut our ends off here. A little bit about the same length as the, the tag okay now we're ready to fill it up and I chose to fill it up with the mini M&Ms I love M&Ms so I'm just gonna fill it up with that 
and I probably should have put these in before. Um, maybe I can fill this one up and then pour it in there like that. That's probably the best way to do it. And these are food safe, so it's perfectly fine to put our M&Ms. Now, I don't want to put too many in there because I want to make room for the stopper. So the stopper can go in. All right. That's a really cute little treat. Eat at your own risk. Okay, so we have our two little treats. Looks like I could put a few more M&Ms in there. That is just a sweet, darling little treat that you can give someone just to let them know, hey, I think you're special. If you'd like to make this um, and get the materials, just uh, check out my blog, www.carolbcrafts.com, and uh, get that host code. Make your $60 retail purchase using the host code, and I will send you all the materials free of charge, a gift from me using me as your demonstrator and this will be available uh, September 1st through um, October 13th that's a Friday and um, thanks for watching and get ready for project number three in my spooky cat online class bye now